Most people, most girls, do consult their parents. Um, but some can't, and they might consult another adult. They might consult a sister, a grandparent, an uncle or aunt. They might consult a teacher. Um, so I think that uh, if teenagers can't consult their parents, that's not a reason why they should have to have a baby. That's what it boils down to, you know, that people never, never uh, cannot grasp this, which is once a girl is pregnant, something's going to happen. She's going to have a baby or she's not going to have a baby. So who should get to make that decision? Should her parents be able to say, no, I'm sorry, you were a bad girl, now you have to have a child? What if they say, no, you want to have an abortion. You have to have an abortion. She, does she have to do what they say then? The pro-choice, pro-lifers would never say that the parents should be able to force her to have an abortion, so why should they be able to force her to have a baby? I just don't understand this. Um, I think that uh, naturally a lot of people feel, look, these are you know these crazy teenagers, they need their parents. Um, they, I've talked to um, anti-abortion people. Both say, you know, I go with them. I go with the girl to her parents. They're afraid they'll get beaten up or whatever. And, and I go and I sit there in the living room with them and they tell and it's all, and I say, so then what happens is, well, the parents aren't happy, but it's okay. But, you know, and sometimes that'll be true too. But the point really is, this law serves no purpose. It's an invasion of the family. It forces, you know, a lot of times, maybe you've had experiences like this in your own life, you don't necessarily want to know every little thing that's going on. You might be in crisis yourself. One reason kids don't tell their parents is because their parents are going through very hard times and they don't want to upset them further. They don't want to disappoint their parents. Well, you know, that's a sort of a altruistic good feeling. And I don't think we want the state saying, no, here's your parenting crisis, the family, you know, the family is breaking up or whatever, but you have to, you know, your parents have to be saddled with this when you have the good sense to not saddle them with it. So I think a lot of the things that happen with abortion law is that it all takes place at this very soundbite abstract level uh, where people are thinking, yeah, um, teenage girls, they're too young, oh, they couldn't, oh, here's something they say, they couldn't get their ears pierced without uh, telling their parents. Uh, well, that's probably not true. My daughter got a belly ring when she was 14, and she didn't tell me. Um, so, um, but uh, um, being pregnant is not like getting your ears pierced or not getting your ears pierced. Either way, something very big is going to happen to you. And actually, having a baby is a bigger thing. It's a physically more difficult. Um, then you have a baby. Um, so I just think people need to actually focus on, OK, here's a pregnant girl. You know, this is not some abstract thing about getting your ears pierced or, what, or parents uh, doing, you know, having the opportunity to, cons to consult, uh, to uh, counsel their child. There's a pregnant girl there. We have to think about her.